Hey, hey everybody, it's Scott Omato back for another video. In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick tip about how to load and view schematics, Minecraft schematics in your browser using an application called cubicle.xyz. Guys, it's a really cool online application. Uh, you know, maybe you have a lot of schematics and stuff on your disk, uh, then you don't know what they are without loading them into something like Schematica or Lightmatic or whatever. With this guy, you can load them and view them to see what they are, and you can even convert them, which is pretty cool. So let me take like a schematic in here. This is uh, the blank window, the canvas for it. And guys, it can do a lot more stuff than just schematics. It can generate some terrain and, uh, you know, you can even edit the schematics to a degree and stuff like that. It's actually really, really cool. But I just want to show you this simple feature of it. So basically, if I take a schematic and drag it into the window, then it will load it. And the cool thing about it is it's fully browsable using my uh, mouse uh, click in the window to get mouse control or I can use the WASD keys uh, to browse it and everything's collision activated so that I can go in and walk around it and view it and all that kind of stuff guys super super cool I can even interact with doors and stuff so I can go inside of it so uh, you know it's a great way to just take a look at different schematics uh, that you have uh, it, the performance is pretty darn good considering it's running in your browser uh, and just so so useful guys okay so this was one in schematic format here all right I can also load MBT type schematics so like let's get an example of some MBT type uh, like let's see I have some of the uh, new villages I think uh, 114 village structures uh, let's take a look at that uh, I got the light Matica and I have the, the regular one let's take a look at those let's see that's iron golem i don't want those i want uh, let's get like some of the desert ones uh, let's look at the houses uh desert armorer for instance and you can see this one's an mbt structure so i can load it and then view it i uh, can just get an idea of th those different schematics again interactive with the doors and all that kind of stuff uh, now maybe not quite as good or, or i'm in a, an actually an edit tool right now so if you do happen to change something, you can undo it uh, like so, or maybe it's just doing that. I don't know. You can see it's got the structure block and stuff. So I don't know. In that case, it seemed like the doors didn't work quite as good. I'm guessing it just depends. But anyway, you could get a view of it and see it. That's very cool. And you can load more than one uh, at a time. But let's take a look at a few more. Uh, so like, let's see what else I've got. I've got... Um, some of the ones from Struct Pro. Uh, Struct Pro is a uh, app is a mod that has a lot of different schematics that it loads into your world. And maybe you don't want all of them. Maybe you just want to see them so you can uh, get the schematics from your schematics folder. But here's one like large town schematic. Now this one's pretty big. Doesn't really bother this. It loads very fast. Still quite interactive with it. Uh, so you could check them all out now the shadows and stuff are a little weird the lighting engines different uh, But generally it works really really well. You can see like the lighting on the stairs and stuff is pretty weird uh, But guys I could view this schematic very fast with Pretty good performance high frame rates and stuff like that Very very cool to do that to just take a look at these different schematics and as I said you can convert them now to release your mouse you hit escape to do so but I can convert them so if I choose to save this file this was a schematic file regular schematic file so if I want to convert it to an MBT structure file which can be used in Lightmatica uh, they don't support the regular schematic format but you could also do the BO2 files uh, which are used for world painter and things like that uh, shape files and just make an image of it I do have a shareable link I mean very very cool guys but let's convert it to an MBT structure uh, and then when I do that it'll just save out onto my disk takes a moment I think there you go and so that saves out onto my disk uh, let's actually exit that and this you need to click up to it to uh, exit these windows All right so we'll take the load we'll close this one and then we'll reload the MBT version of it and see if it, how well it converted. Check that out. Uh, see if it did. Loading it. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, excellent. So see, it converted it quite well. 
Uh, sometimes I've noticed some of the stair rotations and stuff will be off. Uh, it looks like here they are. And it seems more common in the MBT format uh, to do so. So the MBT format may just go on the direction that you placed it. Uh, but you just have to be aware of that kind of stuff in viewing it. Um, but generally, it is totally useful to be able to see these schematics. Anyway, hope that's helpful to you. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. This is Scott O'Model, and this guy can do a lot more stuff than this guy's. I've just barely, barely scratched the surface. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. This is Scott O'Model. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.